look at this setting. Craziness. There we go. There we go. Well, this thing. Oh, God. We got another one. We got another one. Oh, plus bait fish. There we go. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, that feels like a decent one. Ooh, ooh, yeah, bud. My kind of place right here. What is up, MFA? So look at this crazy ass place. We decided to do some fishing at today. It's been raining down here in Texas all morning. And you know what that means? When it rains a little bit, there's drains. There's water that floods a lot of these little local ponds. And so I decided I'm gonna pack up a couple rods, go do a little bit of bank fishing. And here we are, this is the first spot. Never been here before, but you guys loved the bank fishing video last time. So we're gonna be doing a whole lot more of that moving forward. I drove by this spot. I'm underneath 17 different bridges at a crazy busy interchange down here and i just kind of drove by this the other day saw it thought it looked like it might have a fish or two in it so we're going to explore a bunch of these little roadside ditch ponds this is how i grew up fishing i didn't have a big fancy bass boat to go wherever i wanted to no my parents would drop me off at the side of the road if there was a pond if there wasn't a pond i'd go find one and basically pick me up at the end of the day that's it if you guys grew up like that you know what i'm talking about if you didn't i feel kind of bad for you not gonna lie but we got a little drain right here we got some water running in i'm not sure if it's gonna be any good but it's gonna be a badass time if you guys like the bank fishing pond fishing type videos hit the thumbs up we're about to go rip some quick little arsenal check of what we brought today went with three different rods three totally different ones that i think I always need to have when I'm bank fishing. First off, I needed a little finesse rig type guy. They're all tangled together, of course. Brought my spinning rod, so I can throw anything finesse, Ned rig, shaky head, which we got rigged up. I think they'll eat that about anywhere. But always good to have a spinning rod. We needed a braid rod so we can throw some top water on it. We're gonna have buzz bait, frog, swim bait, all different types of stuff. And this is my, my all around go-to. Um, for, for a bunch of different stuff. 17 pound fluorocarbon, seven foot two, extra heavy rod. Fish is a little bit more like a heavy. I got a swim jig on it right now. I can do a lot with this. I can flip, I can Texas rig, I can jig. I can, I mean, I can do a bunch of stuff, even a Cinco or something like that if I need to. Here's my box, total disaster, total randomness. Got some crankbaits, got some jigs. Um, got a couple nasty swim baits, top water stuff moved in. And then even more plastics, some buzz baits and stuff. And that guy right there seeing some bait fish flipping right down here that's a good sign the water's not totally gushing in here like i want it to be but um, i'm sure at one of these ponds it will be today and i hope that the rain kind of holds off because i don't have any rain here whatever it's fish this pond's got like five or six of these drains right here and it's not totally gushing in but there's a lot of activity this is the one i could see from the road so we're going to check it first and probably move around and cover some water today i don't even know what lives in here uh, let's see i'm not going to spook them throw them back here with my little bag across there we go there we go yeah there's fish in here yeah bud picked up that little shaky head threw him in there look what we got here guys not a gigantor but hell yeah catch him under the bridge look at this little guy he's so fat mm. but he's eating down there you bet this guy's kind of become like my little go-to bait this year this is the six cents divine shaky worm the little 6.3 inch size and I matched that up with a 16th ounce jig head. You get so many bites because of how natural this thing looks. When you drop it in there, you know, every bait that these fish are used to seeing, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. A lot of times you want a fast fall, but every bait's going straight to the bottom, right? Well, this thing, oh God, we got another one. We got another one. Got them fired up now. Yeah, dog. These are some freaking fighters in here. Yes. Bridge fish. We got the troll fish going. Anyways, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by this not giant but super fun fish. When this thing falls, it just glides and spirals down super slow. And if a fish sees it, it's, I mean, it's game over. They're caught. Let's see if we can keep catching them right here. We got this water, this drain coming in right here. It hasn't rained a ton today, 
but it has the last couple weeks. So I think these fish are probably stacked up in this area. And look at this setting. Craziness. Another one. Another one. That's not a fish at all. What did we catch? Hey, a piece of tire. Someone blew a tire out up yonder on one of these bridges, I'm sure. And we just caught it. How cool is that? Not very. You know what? I'm already going to change it up. I'm whipping out the buzz. Libas. One of the all time greatest low light baits that there's ever been made. The buzzing bait. Oh, buzz bait fish. Yes. What's up, bud? What's up, bud? You guys were telling me you want to see that top water modifications video. If we got the old modded up buzz bait. Ooh, something big just swirled right up there. Let's see what that was. Let's see if the bite. You guys said you wanted to see the top water mod video. It's coming, maybe, maybe not that soon, but it needs to come because I got some some ways to show you guys to, uh, like I said, not be a total simp with your top water stuff. Stop fishing baits as they come out the box and start catching even more fish on them. I was just gonna cover some water with the buzz bay here, run down this bank, but a good sign that uh, that one came up. Slip! The little buzz bait, the buzz craw, we should call it the buzz craw. Stroke crawling back there. Oh, another one! Another one on top water. Yeah, bud. That's a better one there. That's the biggest fish we've had here so far. That's the biggest fish we've had here so far. Let's go. Come here, bud. Yeah. Not the biggest fish in North America, but hey, I didn't know if they lived in here. They can't resist this thing. I'm off just getting obsessed with the little stroker crawl on the back of a buzz bait situation. They have been skadooshing it lately. You know, the only thing I haven't been crazy about with this pond is I haven't seen any bigs, but I'm sure they're out there. I've been fishing for 15 minutes. All right, spot number one, big success. We caught fish underneath some bridges. I didn't even know if there was fish that lived in this spot, um, but as I noticed with about everything in Texas, if it's not the alligators or the snakes or the sun that's gonna kill you, today it's the damn skeets. I got ate up so bad there and I had just sprayed at home. So we're about to freaking take a bath in this stuff right here and head to the next pond. Okay, spot number two. You guys have seen this one before, but we got some underwater spillway right there coming from another pond. So there's not much, you can't see much. There's not as much current as there was last time, but we're gonna see if there's any fish right here, and then if there is, we're gonna go fish some of the other underwater spots. I'm gonna flip this hog walla in there. This guy's about to be a little unpegged Texas rig action. I'll probably do it just a regular wide gap hook, but all I have on me is my straight chain flipping hook, which will work fine. Let's see if there's any other living here today. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> One flip, broke it off. That little sucker right there sawed me off on some nastiness down there. I'm just hoping there's more than him down there. I'm gonna be real sad. Get me a new hog waller tied on. This thing is bad as a freaking bone. I mean, flipping, dragging, Carolina rig. It's been good to me. Might need to mess these jokers. Let's see. Let's see if this little shaky head works. I had a couple bites, obviously the one that broke me off, but got it. There we go. There we go. Yep. Yep. Fight him out away from that snaggy spot. He was in it for a second. Ooh. We got a fighter on. We got a fighter on. I don't know how big he is, but they are angry in this spot, guys. Oh, yeah, nice one. Not a giant, but another little six inch shaky head eater. Come here, bud. Yes. Yes. Big fish of the day. Maybe. I don't know. Can't resist the naturalism. That's not how it was hooked. But you guys get the point. Nice one. Not like what probably broke us off, but nice one. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. Tell you what, guys, there is something about the slow fall and of course you can't forget the natural color of the little green pumpkin burst this has become my favorite probably soft plastic color of all time just a nice green pumpkin with some sparkle some silver 
hologram sparkle that is and some black flake in there that's a deadly guy let's see if we can get one there was at least a couple there Jeez. dog fight another one another one. Oh god is he on? oh no i was trying not to pull too hard on him that was a big one he had me in the shit god look at that tore my line all up damn it gonna have to retie we're not doing too good here guys <laughs> struggle i was just about to say that and talk about how how smart i was that i wasn't using a big hook set you don't want to jack them hard when you're using this eight pound test i just broke that one off that was on 20 pound test because i just pulled on the whatever janky drain this is down there and then i just leaned on that one a little bit didn't even get hook penetration good and he still screwed my line up and he got away There's one. Oh, that feels like a diesel one. Ooh, yeah, bud. Look at that. Finally, a better fish on the video today. First cast. There's a drain right here. You can't see it. There's not a lot of current today, but hog walla. Not giant, but a little three plus pounder in the little neighborhood pond here. Had some rain. And they're right where they should be. Guys, get out there. It's sunny now. It's nice outside. But after it rains, find some of this moving water. Throw something that looks like a damn little creature that fell in the damn lake. And if they're being dickheads, then throw something supernatural. Or just follow up with something supernatural like that little shaky head. It's that easy. There we go. Another one. Another one. Yeah, I'll come on. That one bigger? That one bigger? Come here, bud. Nope, he's not bigger. He's just longer. He's got a little bit of a belly issue. He's a long guy, though. Whew, about got me. Another one. Okay. This is great fishing here with this little lip right here. It's like I'm boat flipping him into my boat. <laughs> Thanks, bud. You bet. All right, I'm going to go with just a, a little bit of bass fishing 101 tips for you guys that always have questions about some some of the more simple things that i'm doing that i don't really talk about enough i totally get it but i'm going unpegged right now because i'm not flipping super heavy cover and really i've gone unpegged with my texas rig weight a lot these days even if uh even if i am fishing some decently heavy cover as long as it's not like super heavy grass or super heavy brush piles i'm going unpegged because it lets that bait fall more natural but what i'm doing is i'm basically there's a drain right there that comes out it's been pushing water I don't know all night the last few nights and, and so these fish are, are stacked up in this one spot i think I, I got two right in a row i'm just gonna flip it out there let that bait go to the bottom i'm just gonna give it little hops and god one just picked it up right there when i popped it up off the bottom not as big of a fish but you guys can see how effective that is just a little guy but basically i just want to pop this bait up off the bottom let all these appendages flutter let it fall back down they like it black and blue pretty pretty standard choice here with water that's about six inches visibility at most i'm just gonna keep working around this drain see what i can pick off and then when we switch up to the shaky head i like to work that a lot slower more methodically God, i already got a fish oh man he stole my whole hog walla. well we caught four fish on our hog waller and then that one just decided it was his that's okay i got a whole pack Another one. Another one. Oh my god, these fish cannot resist the walla. God dang, that's funny. You see that fish jump out of the water? Well, another long, skinny one. He needs to be down here in this drain eating this food that's coming out. Better get him back in there. Well, what jalukwa we got here. We done found ourselves a waterfall guy. Oh, that looks good. Mm -mm. Could be no fish, but I'm gonna doubt that probably. Little pecker head. Little pecker head. I don't know what's up with this lick. Never fished it before, but they should be loaded right here, and they are not. Wouldn't even touch Waller. Had to pick up Shaky. And also destroyed Shaky. Little bastard. Maybe there's more. Maybe that got him fired. It's like a ledge. Okay, we're back at the first drain. I'm about to rip a damn big. I don't care if they want to bite or not. We're going to make them bite. We're going to rip one and not get broken off. 
I hope. There we go. There we go. Right in front of us. Right in front of us. Mm -hmm. Yes. I knew it would be worth it to come back here one more time. These freaking fish are meaner than shit right here. I don't know if it's because they're sitting down there in the current half the damn life or what, but that is a stocky, meaty little son bitch that fought about it harder than any damn two and a half pounder ever caught in the life. <laughs> I lost him. Took a few presentations, but popping that little waller around down there had enough flap that eventually he ate it. It's so funny throwing this bait as much as I've been throwing it lately because my entire life I have not been throwing a lizard style bait. That's about as close to a lizard style bait as possible. We made it so it'd be kind of a cross between a lizard and a brush hog type creature bait but damn they eat the thing there's another one right in the drain right in the drain yes he jumped on the damn bank he wanted to meet you guys turned into a pretty solid day guys i was not expecting it to be this effective that one was actually like in the drain right down below Okay, back here at the garage, guys. Had a blast out there bank fishing. I think the moral of the story is get out there and fish. There wasn't the best conditions. It kind of was post front, but it had just rained. And so, of course, all those fish were drawn to those drains. Get out and check stuff out. Travel around your city. Use Google Maps, Google Earth. See where some of these drains are at and go throw some baits in them. Three main baits I used today, of course, were the Six Sense Divine Shake Head on that super, super light jig head. You could throw a Ned Rig, you could throw um, Drop Shot, all sorts of finesse stuff, but I've really been drawn to that shaky head. Gets me good bites, and it's usually a lot more weedless than a Ned Rig is. They just eat it in those situations. The Hog Walla, of course, that's a super versatile bait that every time I meet someone that's a bank fisherman and an MFer that watches my videos, I've literally had a handful of guys, almost every single one of them that I've met lately, out of the blue bring up hey i picked up some hog wallows they've been freaking killing them out here definitely a bait to check out and of course the old buzzing bait with the uh, the little stroker craw trailer on the back a couple sneaky things to that buzz bait i still need to get around and making that top water hack style tip video let's do that soon uh, that, that'd be really really good drop a comment down below if you want to see that one of course hit the thumbs up right now if you like the bank fishing stuff so i know you want to see more of it i got a bunch of stuff to pack up on the boat though because we're about to go do some slaunch lane some lip ripping and um i don't have any spinning rods on the deck it's all gonna be power fishing i got about seven swim bait rods over there laid out we're gonna do some fishing in the morning can't wait for that can't wait for the next few videos we're going on a hunt for the fifth double digit bass of the year it's gonna be fun thanks for watching this is some average my peace